Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the Bashiverse. Or, well, what's left of it after this particular run. Uh, this used to be the spawn point right here, but as you can see, between the bugginess and the fire, something got corrupted, and this whole thing got scooped out and moved elsewhere or something. All I know is the spawn point is no longer here, and we're going to take a little tour of what little we got completed in the last, I want to say, 24 hours. Maybe a little bit more than that. Two days at the most, I think. So, the most, well, the biggest construction, I think, is right here. This castle-looking thing. That is Basher's area. Lots of interesting stuff on the side, but we all worked together to build this lava moat. We did it all the way around these three floating mountains areas that were going to be his... the Bashiverse fortress type thing. So... It's kind of sad that stuff is so buggy, but to be honest, we should have kind of expected it wasn't really a complete release. No mobs or anything. So, I know inventory. The inventory thing, where every time you logged out or you died, your stuff in your inventory just completely disappears. And even if it was in a chest or something, and that was really, really annoying. I mean, it's still playable and everything, but meh. Anyway, we're back over to the spawn point area here. Um, Basher had a little few rooms set up here. Didn't have much else done. He had great plans for this area, but just did not work out. And this is the crafting area. Another thing we couldn't do, we couldn't smelt without spawning these lit forges. And even then you have to stand there looking at the forges to make them actually do something. So anyway, um my construction, I guess what you would call it, is over here. Is the tower or whatever. People talking in the server while I'm recording. But I'm not quite sure whose tower that is, whose fortress, whatever that is, but it looks kind of interesting from here. Definitely right next to my tower. First, let's go inside and look here. It's somebody dug right through the whole thing, which is kind of annoys me, but... I suppose it could be worse. This is just basically where I was getting a lot of stone and dirt from. That resolutely poofed a few times when I had to log. So we'll go up top here. It's a long way up. Give us a nice aerial view as well. Assuming I can turn up my view distance without the frames per second totally dying. But for anyone who did not take the time to go up here, I had steps all the way around. I could actually be turning, but my mouse controls aren't the best. I'm not a first person shooter, as you can see. My keyboard turner. Up we go, and we see light. And the trees I planted up at the very top. Very nice. And then my platform, which I had at one point thought I was going to build a house up here, but, well, that did not happen. So, let's increase the FPS and the slow loading that happens when I get the full view. There's that fortress that we saw on the way up. A couple other little places down there. Playing with the water. I 
not the easiest to see up here, getting a little blurry. There's the lava moat. Going through the mountain right there. Somebody's single stone block tower across there. I have nothing against towers, obviously, but to just put a single stone block all the way up, that's just... Eh. Lacks creativity, I guess. There's somebody's house over there. Yeah, I think that's about all we can see from up here, so I'm going to turn the FPS back down. Suddenly getting 7 Ooh. FPS. That's not good. Anyway, yeah, this was some more of my stockpiling. Because you can't hold stuff in your inventory, I was just making these block areas. I think it was YCS Ooh. who made this bridge right here. So we go across the bridge and turn that FPS up a little bit. Or the fog, view distance, up, down, wherever. Anyway, we go through here to my tunnel. Now, I made this yesterday right before all of the crash issues. So, I'm kind of surprised that the grass has grown as much as it has. This used to all be dirt, or stone, and I dug it all up and put dirt down. And let the grass grow its way through. Surprised that there's still a couple areas that don't have grass. It's getting there. They almost meet. Almost. Hmm. me. So. Go through here. Get to the stairs. This is my other stockpiles. With my proposed areas for... What I was going to build a big castle or something around here. I had planned to make this a big... Big... Oh... Square. Flat area with the grass and have the trees spaced out just perfectly and yeah that didn't happen. I ended up just plopping down trees around at random. It's kinda nice that they still all grew but anyway and I had a little cactus farm over here. Not a whole bunch though. Well more than one might think. Because when you plant cactus, it grows into more cactuses, cactus pieces. So, do, do. I don't know quite why I'm doing this, but I started it with the cactus farming. Actually, I think it was Jake, Unreal Jake, or Demo Man, who started with the whole cactus farming thing. But, there's nothing wrong with it, it's quite enjoyable. Go in your cacti on your farm, yeehaw, and all that. And cacti can only be placed on sand, so hence I had to put one on top of my sand stockpile. Anyway, and my brother wanted to show me where his place was, so he decided to leave me a trail, Hansel and Gretel style. Go over here. I find someone. Variax! Hello there, Variax! His little Viking outfit. Very bright blue eyes. <laughs> he sounds so thrilled. The old spawn through the tunnel. He 
He's on TV. Yes. We are TV. So. Where was I going? Oh yes, I was showing off my brother's giant cacti farm. With his incredibly enormous cactus. Remember I was talking about the one tile towers? When it's a cactus, well, maybe that's not so bad. So. Take a look around here. See what they built after I went to bed last night. Apparently lots of cactus. Some flowers. Trees inside. A giant cacti right in the middle of everything. Let's see. Uh, my brother, the other brother, the one who didn't build the cactus farm, was supposed to have built up above, up there. Uh, let's see if I can get up there without dying. He said he built a path, but it wasn't really stairs or anything, so... A big cave hole underneath him. See what we got here. I think we have to go up here. Oof, maybe not. Very X is following me. Hopefully he won't push me off here. Even though that would be hilarious. Talking about again. Do the question thingy. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that either. No offense to those who do that, but it's just there's a tree in the way from the steps. Yes, I'm pretty sure those are the steps. Yep. Boy, there's just trees everywhere. And very few of them will grow. Well, some of them might. Hmm. And anyway, we're still not actually up to his fortress, so... Let's take the stairs up here. And keep heading on up. This is a neat little... Gotta find the hidden stairway type thing. R.A.V. That's his name. Ravenous or Rav or Rav number one two eight or whatever. You gotta jump through the V to get to his actual house, which is kind of cool. Up above the clouds, actual floating drawbridge island thing. Lots of chests and stuff. Ooh. Into the unknown we go. Oh, he actually got grass up in here. Up in here, homies. And Variax is leaving us. Goodbye, Variax. Well, I think that's just about it. One last thing we should do, always, when we have giant floating maps, we're above the clouds. If anyone knows this from my videos where I was trying to find a decent map for the hell spawn stuff. Geronimo! Oh. Splat!